we're trying to focus on that last game. Um, and you know, it's a massive disappointment to be mathematically eliminated and that game is in terms of points and playoffs meaningless, but I think it... it, it uh, I can't speak for everybody. I don't know exactly what's going on in everybody's head, but I think the majority, they know that, that it has a massive... There's just some weight to it, you know? Um, for ourselves, for everything that we represent, uh, all the way down to the individual level, family, club, fans, you name it, right? I mean, it's been it's been a roller coaster year, and I think it, you know, like I said, after the after the game was over, to paint such a, a historical positive with a historical negative is it, is hard to swallow. But it's in, in part because we know how capable we were at one point, right? And, and how good we were, and so maybe this game is an opportunity to show, even if it doesn't matter anymore, that you know. We were, we were a good team this year. We, we, we fell short, but we were a good team and we were, we were capable of good things. And so it's one more game to show that. Has there been any time spent on, like, did you guys even bother to look at the Kansas City match, uh, like this week, and, and sort of like no, we have break not. it down? We have not. Is that, are, are you surprised? Do you think that's the right thing to do? You know, I, I, I think it's more important to focus on the next opponent and, and make sure that mentally we're ready uh, and, and everybody is feeling the way I just described it before, that this game is is meaningful, you know, and, and is important to for a lot of obvious reasons. So um, I think I think uh, analyzing individual mistakes and things uh, of that Kansas game isn't necessarily going to help us that much when it comes to those things. Yeah, of course, we, you know, we, we might we might repeat a, a mistake that we just committed yet one more time, but um, I think that wasn't really. It's not, that's not the main focus of that game. That main focus is that we're going to go out there and, and, and work our butts off for 90 plus minutes and and, and and put it all out there just for the fans and, and make them enjoy a game, maybe for one more game uh, in NFC. Haven't yep. been a playoff. They've had this been a playoff, uh, you know, week or a regular earlier than being eliminated. You would have looked at that Kansas City game though by now. Uh, possibly, I have no idea. I mean, okay. we're, we're talking hypotheticals. And yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, as, as coaches uh, or as keepers, we we tend to look at everything anyways because we want to. I hyper analyze everything, so you know, I, I, I've looked at some 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 stuff here and there and see what I can do better. Uh, you know, distribution, organization, uh, goalkeeping, all those things. Um, but that's just because I feel like that's what Tommy has kind of ingrained in us to do anyways. And for me. Uh, Routine is, is uh, gives me gives me peace. So, uh, but uh, you know, I I kind of don't want to speak hypothetical because uh, we need to we need to put in the work so that we don't sit here and speak of hypotheticals. We're not able to do so, so um, we don't get to reward ourselves with the question of what if. How did you approach this week? Well, yeah, yeah, I tried to. Like I said, because. The, this game is uh, it's important. Um, um, whoever's going to be on the pitch uh, needs to be prepared. And, and again, like, us keepers, I'm, I'm the, maybe the wrong guy to ask, but we spend a lot of time separated from the squad. But we try to prepare as much as we can for this game and, and, and work really hard. And, and that's always been kind of the thing: is when you you know when you can't find confidence or joy in, in, on a weekend, you, you have to find it in the hard work during the week. That when when, when the next weekend comes, that you feel like, despite the, the negative feelings of, of, of the weekend before, that you feel like, hey, I've, I've worked my butt off, I'm ready. You know, there's nobody that worked harder than me. And so we, we kind of continue with that trend with our keeper unit to make sure that all of our guys uh, on, that, on that keeper unit, at least I can say, are ready for it. Uh, I'm sure the other guys are working hard. Even with a, a game remaining, have, have you begun the reflection of the, of the year overall? And no. It, no? You're just waiting, waiting until next week to do that? Yeah, again, just, just trying to carry this game the utmost respect. Uh, and, 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 you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there will be a journey of, of processing things and then go to pain and, and, uh, and uh, lament the fact that we're not, still, we're not playing soccer anymore. Um, but at some point we'll probably think about the things that we've achieved um, and, and how we can try to take advantage of the things we've achieved for next year as well um, with uh, certain opportunities that we have, but um, that will have happen after the, the season's final. And have you begun to kind of think about how you're going to spend the next month in terms of that reflection time? If, if you, you know, want to get away or you want, to, you want to stay here to reflect, how do you want to treat this, this next month while the playoffs go? Oh, I will 
probably not be watching the playoffs. I have lots of other things to kind of get sink my teeth into, you know, um, trying to uh, finish our, our, our home that we're building, which is amazing that I can kind of jump in right ahead there and kind of get lost in it. I have lots of art that I need to really finish. So um, honestly, I think without without trying to shove it aside, just kind of let it naturally like occur. The few thoughts that you have a day about the soccer and about what happened, I will not try to um, force kind of uh, to, to figure out what, what, what took place. Uh, it will come when it come, will come. Um, and I think that's also important so that men, mentally you can get away from it a little bit, right? Um, and, and, and physically too, you know, I mean, uh, just healing out some injuries. I've you know, been, been pulling out a lot of injuries for, for a while and, and those things need to heal and so you need to make sure you give, give it the time for that. You mentioned your artwork really quick. How, how did that Kraken thing come about and, and that whole project? Uh, that you... Yeah, it's a big one. I'm yeah. super, super fortunate to have the opportunity to do that. So uh, um, Wafed Bank is uh, is one of our main uh, sponsors and they've been they've been amazing. They've really helped me also and besides just partnering and having a good friendship there even. Uh, really helping me on the art side and you know I designed uh, a huge piece I think it's seven by seven foot for their for their branch uh, downtown uh, last year which is awesome and then uh, they're obviously a really, really big sponsor of the Kraken as well and so I've been working hard for now it's been uh, over a year in the making uh, for a piece that's going to go into the time pleasure right so I'm super super excited about it it's obviously in a public space so a little bit of pressure there um, it's not going to probably at this point I'm 130 or 140 hours into it so um, I, I told him I'd be done in three weeks, <laughs> we'll see, um, but uh, exciting. I think it's exciting just to, you know, feel feel some pressures in other passions as well, um, to, because I think when you feel pressures, you, you, you push yourself and, 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 and you get better and you evolve. And so um, I'm very fortunate that I have another passion that I can do that to kind of, again, get away from the other one. But also have amazing, amazing friendships and partnerships with people like Walker and Brad and all those people over there that, that support me. Uh, the League's Cup uh, format was formally re released today. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but uh, potentially adding it's basically between two and seven games. They're adding uh, kind of right on the heels of the League Cup as well. That sounded like it was a kind of a stoppage of league and had a tournament and then yeah. had a reset. So obviously, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna add more games. Um, it's gonna prolong our season. I think at this point, it looks like we'll probably start very very beginning of January and end what is uh, MLS Cup will be what early December. Uh, so it's eleven. I think it's eleven plus change months of, of a season. So uh, you know, we'll, we'll, well, I think this is a bit of a struggle right now to figure out what. We, we, we are we're, we're making an early exit like what do we do what's best you know can you maybe utilize this early exit or is it best to use this early exit to really just get the rest while you can mm -hmm. because those 11 months is going to be grueling um, you know you can you can talk about bringing in another tournament and uh, and maybe bonuses to make 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 it worth for the teams and make it worth the players but the matter of fact is that you're adding more games and we've seen for us this year that just adding eight games with, with travel is, is a true true struggle and so it's going to be difficult difficult but for everybody right? do your eyes turn right now to, to uh, after this week to, to club world cup uh is, is that the kind of the next thing that immediately hits your mind or is it or is it the reflection first um i think reflection but with that in mind you know because you you want to quickly find goals and targets uh, and things to look forward to and things to uh give you a reason why you're going to do intermittent fasting and while you're why you're going to do why you are going to do your pull-ups and we are why you are going to go on the treadmill and all those things so for for, for nothing it's it's hard for for goals and especially big immediate goals it makes it worthwhile so i think um, again there'll be a small break um just to mentally and physically get away from it but i think that during that during that time the reflection and the goal setting will kind of flesh out and, and will push you to to get back on the bike uh, literally and figuratively. You guys had a fun moment, it seemed, at the end of uh, training here. Um, what was that, and what do you think that'll kind of 
help uh, go it forward? Uh, it was today's training was uh, really tailor made for competition. You know, I think there's competition in all aspects that we did today, and it's really trying to uh, to up the level of intensity and competitiveness too. Right? I mean, you know, it's it's it sucks when you lose, or it should suck when you lose. Um, uh, it doesn't really matter whether you play well or you play bad. It doesn't matter. It's you, you know, it's a stupid thing that crazy good players say that you know I don't want to lose a game of Monopoly it's true like you know it's this small side of games it's the same thing it, 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 anything you do we, we do it to win we're terrible Monopoly players because we take it so freaking seriously but on the, on the practice field here like you, you really need to instill that and, and sometimes when you can do it and you realize your your opponents doing it as well then when you come out on top it gives you a really satisfying feeling I mean, I think that's what you saw today. I think the competition was high, and then ultimately the team, I don't even know who it was, but the team that ended up winning, you know, was able to, to, to enjoy that moment because everybody was in it, everybody wanted it, and they got it. And that competition level was good. First time uplifting here, a breakout of, of Jacob Lindsay. Do you think so? You know, I, mean, it, 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 I think it was earned today because it wasn't false, it wasn't fake. It was uh, three teams that wanted to compete and got pretty heated and a couple of tough challenges flying in there because of that as well. And, uh, and so in the end, obviously, everybody wanted to win and, and the team that wins was going to rub it into the team that lost. So that's how it was. So Monopoly, your favorite board game? No, no, it's too long. <laughs> I feel like a, I like an Uno uh, that's like with a double deck and if you have the same colored card or same number and color you can actually jump in even if it's out of turn oh. so it gets like, oh. really crazy you gotta be, you gotta be again. Yeah. <laughs> it can be like three four plays and then nobody re nobody knows what direction it's supposed to go anymore because that's so quick and everybody's like what just happened <laughs> have you guys but, played uh, that with the team uh, no because it's hard to fi find people that like to play that game even my wife doesn't like it so but we play at home we play a lot of uh what do we play i mean the guys like to play a lot of 22 on play. Mm -hmm. Ask Christian. He's a really 